welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see how to carry out the pushover analysis in etap software so here we have one building which i have already modeled you can see our playlist also in the description box to learn more so this video is particularly focusing on the pushover analysis okay so first we'll start with a load case go to define load case here i have already created few of the load cases so in the dead case just go modify show case and here change the load case name to dead nonlinear i will explain further why i am doing this so and load case type nonlinear static okay here keep zero initial conditions now in the loads applied you have to consider your other load cases like live load and factor will be 0.25 super dead load factor will be 1 here don't add the other earthquake cases like eqx and eqy just keep the dead load live load and super imposed dead load if you have made some other cases for brick load floor load differently just go on adding these cases here but don't add earthquake cases right now just click on ok so why we have created this case i will explain okay before that go to add new case here we have to create push x push over case in x direction select the non-linear static now very important initial condition so select continue from state at end of non-linear case and here select the dead non-linear case that we have just created so what we have done here it's simple so our software will first run the dead load non-linear case and push over analysis is a second stage analysis hence whatever stiffness is there at the end of the first dead load non-linear case will be the beginning stiffness for the second so basically the lateral load is applied or our structure is subjected to lateral load in one direction and it will be pushed until it fails that simple the push over analysis is so the load is applied incremental loading intensity okay so that is the basic now here there are three load types acceleration mode so there is much there is not much a difference you can basically go with the acceleration you can go with the mode also but you have to make sure that mass participation factor is more than 90 percent that is the fundamental mode in that direction so acceleration is okay keep u x and here the scale factor is it will be either one or minus one so it depends upon how you get the pushover curve sometimes pushover get curve gets reverse so at that time we have to change minus one to one or if we have one then you have to change to minus one for this case we will go with minus one and we'll see if we need to change it we will come back and change okay now other parameters so here keep modal geometric non-linearity option so there are two options p delta and p delta plus large displacement so p delta will select uh, so the geometric non-linearity will be added here now load application so either you can go with full load displacement control or 
quasi static so here we will go with the displacement control because uh, we want to push our structure according to the displacement here and very important control displacement use monitored displacement okay you have to select this option and load to a monitored displacement magnitude of so this 480 mm up to 480 mm our structure will be pushed okay so that is around 4% of your structure's height generally so you can change or there are some calculations are also available to determine the target displacement so for now it is generally 4% by default here okay next is monitored displacement so our structure will be displaced and one joint displacement will be monitored okay generally that will be the top story node i will show you okay so here you can click on okay next results saved final state only or you can select multiple states okay so you can click okay here so you can keep no cracked analysis or short term long term you can choose accordingly non-linear parameters so there is no need to change anything here you can click on ok right now uh, just a minute i want to check one option here okay it's it's okay it's okay now make add copy of this case so now we'll create push y here instead of ux it will be ui and in displacement control also it will be u2 click on ok click on ok click on ok ok now we have to add the material non-linearity in our structure because this is a non-linear static method that's why okay so for that you can go to select first select all the beams you can select using beams also so your all beams are selected now go to assign in assign we have to assign the hinges so frame hinge right so here we will assign the hinge at the ends okay that is 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 of the length of the beam now here you have to select this code is okay ASC 41 17 here you have to select the concrete beam because we have the concrete beam here so concrete beam right now here degree of freedom keep it as a m3 because it bends in that direction okay v value keep it as non dead load non-linear case okay keep this option on okay click on okay now Similarly, we have to do it for 0 
and the remaining options will be same. Now hinge properties have been assigned to all the beams. Now go to select all the columns, object type, columns, select, clothes. Okay. Now go to again assign frame hinges. Again. 0.1 add here you have to select the concrete columns now make sure you select the degree of freedom pm2 m3 gravity dead load nonlinear gravity plus lateral dead nonlinear keep the other options same okay here make it is 0.9 add now keep the options same okay okay so you can now go to define section properties then Basically, I just wanted to show you the hinge properties. Uh, yes, nonlinear hinges show generated properties. Okay, so here you can see. The properties of the yes these are the hinge properties assigned okay now one thing uh, I wanted to show you that the top displacement that top joint at the top floor this joint displacement will be monitored which is automatically selected in the e tab okay now you can go to analyze set load cases to run so here you can keep other cases do not run You will run only push X, push Y, and dead load nonlinear and modal analysis also. Now we are running the cases. Sometimes or mostly it takes a long long time because we have assigned the geometric nonlinearity, material nonlinearity. So that's why it takes some time if the building is large joints are more hinges are more so it may take more time to complete the analysis so let's see the results are we getting it or not 84 percent it is now complete So first we have created the dead load nonlinear case, then push over analysis. In that we have gone with displacement control. There is a force option also, but it is useful for the linear case because in force it is pushed up to yield limit and we want to see the results in the 
beyond the yield also because building or that structure still you know takes the load in that phase also the displacements are going on so we select the displacement option Yes, the analysis is complete. Okay, no error. And there are some warnings and information is there. Okay. So, we can go and see the static pushover curve. So, here you can see the static pushover curve which is basically base shear versus the monitored displacement right so you can see if it is the we have selected the factor minus one if it is plus one this curve may be like a mirror type okay in that case you can change the factor now you can see the structure is uh, stretched to its full potential Okay, base shear started to decrease, displacement is also at the full, right? Similarly, you can see the results for push Y, the results are here also, the structure is displaced to its full strength, okay? So, in this video, we will see up to this, we will make another video in which we will see how to see the results obtained from pushover analysis okay so that will be a different topic but we will use the same building and we will discuss okay so in this video only the process and the steps are covered in next video we'll see how to see the hinge results how to interpret those results okay so if you have any doubt you can comment me i will surely reply thank you thank you so much